carefully, but have you ever thought about you? Don't know why I keep on doing what I'm told to do. Then the rules are made up by someone we never knew. Baby, wipe your tears and hear me out. We don't need someone to feel alright. Let's do the streets on the Monday. Let's call your exes and tell them they can join us too. Hey, y'all. It's Krista. Welcome to the collab after fab and I have taken Sarah Max ninja swipe class and you know consistency is key um, so we're gonna get right down into this because I'm sure that you're gonna be watching a lot of videos today so we're gonna get this started and I'm going to tell you what colors I'm using as I'm going. All right, so Eric can take us down to the canvas. <laughs> I'm using Artist Loft, the soft body acrylic for my base in the white. So I've got this mixed up and I've mixed everything with mix. Sarah wouldn't let me do that. And then the God said uh, I wasn't supposed to do it that way. And my painting uh, slid off my canvas overnight. So, you know what? I wasn't meant to do this technique without using mix. And I'm doing this outside because you all know that I'm a neat freak about my studio. I'm just flooding my canvas very quickly. I hope you all have enjoyed watching the other artists and watching Sarah. Um, Sarah and I have been friends for a while now along with Mina and Kathleen. You know I love my girls. Um, let me get this corner over here. So I'm definitely going to be tilting. Catch a corner over here. And catch this over here. Alright. Puppy pads outside. Alright, so I am using, oh, apparently, uh, this little piggy's taffy and it's got some white in it. I've got some Art Mines uh, Malibu, and I also am using uh, this little piggies in the Comet, and I'm using Deco Art Extreme Sheen in the 24K, and I'm using Amsterdam's Reflex Rose. And I thought that these would be really pretty together, but I know that you have to do a piggy on the other side of a color, so the way that I layer this up is going to be so that they don't touch. I'm gonna start right here and add a puddle of the Malibu. And then I think I'm gonna put some gold on top of that. And this is a 16 by 20 canvas. And I think because you know I like to lock things in, I'm gonna use the Comet on top of the gold. And then use the Reflex Rose. And then use the Taffy. All right. I think this is all I'm gonna need, so I'm gonna set these down make Eric come and put lids on him because he's taking care of that and I am going to pour a little bit in front of that so it has something to slide onto. All right so I got these this really cool tool while I was at FAB 
and it's just a little teeny tiny spatula and I am going to ninja swipe away. All right, let's go. That was fun. Look how much fun that is to fling paint around. I'm just gonna keep going. If, if you hit the canvas, all you have to do is tilt it and cover it back up. I'm gonna tilt it back this way this time. And it just all comes back together. this way. I'm going to use a different tool. I'm going to use this little booger. How fun was that? Eric is tending to my box on the side going, uh, you're like getting break up this blue a little bit. That was awesome. All right, let's cover that up. And then if you don't want this blob at the bottom, all you have to do is tilt it off. And then I'll show you what I did when I was in Sarah's class. Because I made me a little puddle of awesomeness from my drippings. And then I took this little dude and I scraped up my stuff at the bottom and just flicked it on. Because why not? Let's just flick it on there. How fun is that? This is a super fun technique, y'all. Just letting it flippy flu. Because why not? And then, you can tilt that back. And get it to where you think you're in your happy place. And just call it done. I'm pretty happy. I'm going to take off my gloves and use my little Mackie Mac stick. Let's play with it a little bit. Let's make fun things happen. So I got this stick while I was in her class and I'm just going to make fun things happen. I like wearing this in my hair. I gotta tell you, meeting and seeing all of those wonderful people at FAB just made my heart so happy. You know, putting faces to names and you know, and all these people that I'm collabing with, they are awesome to meet in person. I just adore them. I was actually talking to Nate last night. He's, he's talented, ridiculous, silly, and sweet all at the same time. And that's how I feel about my Sarah as well. She is a limelight, and I love my Mina, my Kathleen, my Karen. They're all amazing. 
you know what? I think I'm gonna dip into this blue with the end of my MAC stick. Let's add some interest in here. Try not to mess things up. All right. So my one little dot didn't go very far. I think what I want to do is get my hands dirty. Well, let's make some lines. Cause it's already a, a pore that is meant to look like chaos but a pretty chaos. Let's do that. This blue is awesome. This taffy, I love it. Let's bring it up in through here. Let's start it over here. Why not, right? And I think that's it. All right, I'm gonna, with my dirty, dirty, dirty hands, bad me, I'm gonna come and get you and bring you down for the close up. Everyone say hi to Eric. Hi, y'all. <laughs> okay. So starting in the corner, this is all done with mix. And let me fan this out a little bit. Okay, so you can get a bigger picture of it. I got awesome cells. The one that I did in uh, DC, I got a unicorn horn. I didn't get it this time, but you know what? My feelings are not hurt because this painting is gorgeous. Look at the cells. That's awesome. And see what happened when I did my little flicky flick? I got my, I got nice little distracted little lines and I'm kind of digging that all right y'all I appreciate you being here for this collab and I hope that you subscribe to all of us because I think it's an amazing group and I hope you all have a wonderful day see you soon bye y'all